everybody. It's been a while. Been working on my courses and feels like it's time for a rant. Been driving around the city and uh, I don't know. I've been noticing a lot of behavior in the driving that makes me wonder. Do you feel like you're a citizen or a denizen of your city? And do you know what the difference is? To me, a denizen is somebody who lives in a city. Animals live in the jungle. Animals live on the farm. They're denizens of that area. A citizen is somebody who not only lives there, but participates in it, takes part in it. The whole word city comes from citizen. So somebody who is a citizen takes part in their city, has something to do with it. Flocks of birds aren't called a city of birds. They're a flock. They travel together. They do things together. <clears throat> Animals in the jungle are denizens just because they live there. But prairie dogs have cities. Prairie dogs have cities. Why do they have cities? Because they have an organizational structure that they all follow. They have one room that they go and they store food. They have one room where they go and they have their babies. They have a defecation room where they go and store their poop for the, you know, all their waste is stored in a different place. They all partake in this. They don't just poop wherever they want. They don't just give birth wherever they want. They don't just store food wherever they want. They follow a set of rules within their group that makes them a city. They are citizens of their city. For people, we make all kinds of cities. And for a long time, we were all citizens of our cities. But I've been noticing lately that more and more people act like denizens of their city instead of citizens. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, is that we have rules that we have established as a society that we, if we all follow them, work to make our cities more organized, run smoothly, things work well if we act as citizens. So, for instance, coming off of the McDonald and McKay bridges in Halifax here, we have merge zones where we merge from sometimes up to nine or ten lanes down to two lanes. And to do a proper merge requires that we each give way to other people, that we take our turn, that we go one for one or however you want it, three to one, whatever you want to call it, we take our turn. We don't just sit on the bumper of the person in front of us and assume that because we are behind that person, we should stay behind that person all the way across the bridge. That this merging thing allows us to put more cars between us and the car we came through the tolls behind. But a lot of people don't seem to understand that idea of merging is giving way to other people and that that helps in the good order of our city is how to act as a citizen is to take our turn same with at stoplights the it's actually a law that that you're not supposed to enter the intersection until the exit is clear. That way you're not stuck in the middle of the intersection when the lights change or when the traffic stops. And today I've already seen at least three different people travel into the middle of an intersection and stop there and block all traffic from being able to get through. All because they wanted to get through without considering anybody else. They're not waiting their turn they're only considering themselves. They're acting selfishly, not as citizens, but as denizens. They're only doing what benefits them. And this is a problem I'm starting to notice. And what I would love to see is for people to take ownership of their city, to become citizens, to do something that is going to increase the flow and the ease of everybody by doing their part. For instance, if you're traveling down the street and traffic is slow and it's bumper to bumper and there's somebody on the side of the road at an intersection who wants to enter into traffic, all you have to do is slow down a little bit. It opens a gap that they can come into traffic into. <clears throat> and if you do the math on it, it actually changes your arrival time by a couple seconds. 
which nobody's going to notice. Just getting caught at a stoplight will cost you more seconds than it will cost you to be a responsible citizen. If you allow people to merge in front of you, it will allow them to get in. When people get don't get let in where, where they the good flow and the good order would let them in, they get frustrated. And frustrated people don't drive as well, and they could cause an accident. And say you don't let that person merge in where they should. Maybe they'll force themselves in. Maybe you'll end up with an accident. And instead of being two seconds later to work, you're now two hours late for work. All because you couldn't give way. You had to fight to keep a space that really isn't yours. You're not being a good citizen. You're being a selfish denizen of the city. It's the same with trash. For some reason, Nova Scotia right now, the amount of trash around is increasing because people are just throwing it out their windows, throwing it on the side of the road, discarding it wherever, basically being denizens of the jungle, pooping wherever they want, instead of being a citizen and going to the right chamber to do what needs to be done. We're not animals. We're people. And if you think you're just an animal, then I suggest you go live out in the jungle <laughs> and let the tigers eat you or whatever else. Instead of staying here and trying to take all the benefits of being a citizen without doing your part as a citizen. I mean, even Spider-Man knew with great power comes great responsibility. Well, in this case, with great privilege comes great responsibility. You have the privileges of living in a city, then you have the responsibilities of living in a city. And I'd love to see us make a change and become citizens once again. It doesn't matter what your belief system is, what your skin color is, what anything is. Anybody can be a citizen of their city by doing their part. Love to hear your comments below. That's my rant.